Still kind of a follow up from my, our previous uh, communication in terms of alignment. A lot of times we see that companies say, these are our five values and job seekers might think that, oh, I am aligned with the four of them. Do you think that people, when you, they join to the company, they add to the company culture or they should be 100% aligned? Because sometimes I feel that if people are bringing the same people, it becomes like mini me and the creativity will be lost and there will be no DNI or reflection of the, of the diversity that we live in. So what are your thoughts about that? Yeah. Let me just tell you about my two closest friends that I grow, grew up with and we're still friends today. Our beliefs are, I'd say they're aligned. Our values are similar, but you know what? They're not identical. And the thing is, these are my best friends. And so, I don't think we ever get 100% alignment, you know, and, and in any given circumstance, my values, my, the importance of my values will, I don't want to say it, it I don't want to make it sound like I'm, I'm wishy-washy, but my values shift based on the, uh, the situation that I'm in. Like, for example, honesty and truth, that's a very important critical value to me. If I ever run into one of my friends and, you know, say he's got a haircut and it's just like, who did that haircut, right? Like, to me, the value of maybe sharing that, you know, I think that's a stupid looking haircut or whatever, however I would say it, versus my, my value of compassion, it, compassion would win out over truthfulness in, in a situation like that, right? So our values, uh, I believe, or something that, not that they're fluid, but they're very situational and we'll use them, right? In situations to, to, to different extents. And really within a company, uh, you know, and even if you read my values, it's really not until you see me at play, see me at work and, and, and same thing in a company. What it, we could say, here are our values. If safety is the number one value in a company, I go in, all I need to be there, if, two hours, I can tell you whether or not safety is the number one value in that company. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm going yeah. to have a pretty good idea as soon as I walk in the, uh, as soon as I walk in the re to reception and how I'm greeted, what's explained to me, some simple signage. And when I'm brought to a, a, a room or whatever, if I'm in a meeting, I'm going to know how that meeting's conducted. What is the first thing that's talked about? You know, so if the first thing that's talked about is how we're hitting our, not hitting our quarterly numbers, I know that really safety is not the number one issue or, or uh, value in that company. So really watching those behaviors um, give us clues into what the true values of a company actually are. Because the, it's, it, it's not the behavior, but it's the underlying motivation that drives that behavior is where the value lies. And, uh, and by seeing the behavior, that's the outward sign of what the true values in a company actually are. And, you, and recruiters usually can assess that by asking behavioral questions to the candidates, right? Yeah, I know. I think you know more about that one than me. So, I mean, I might throw that one back to you. <laughs> yeah. So again, thank you for sharing with me, Steve. Uh, again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of how job seekers can be prepared in terms of value alignment or what answers they can give, please leave it in the comment section. Uh, like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Steve.